What's up boys and girls, David come back at you. Another great thing to do, how about wine tasting? That's right, we're not in Nevada though, we're out in California, nights in California in the Bay Area, and we are at Peterson Vineyards doing some wine tasting. Let's check it out. I've got the time. What's up boys and girls, 702 from Las Vegas, you David coming back at you. We are in California today. We are, is it nights in California? Nights in California. Nights in California, and I'm doing something I really don't do too often, but I wanted to show you something else. It's awesome to do. Nights in California, technically it's probably eight hours away from Vegas. It's about maybe two hours away from San Francisco. It's about an hour from San Francisco. An hour from San Francisco. Yep. San Francisco. Yep. So if you're in the Bay Area, I have a lot of friends in the Bay Area. If you're in the Bay Area, come check it out. Peterson Vineyards, they do wine tasting here. And I'm with Peter, you're the owner, correct? I'm the owner of the winemaker, yep. He is the owner. I'm gonna throw it to him, we're gonna do a little informal interview. He's gonna tell you a little bit about what they offer here. You can come out here, is it weekends only? Uh, actually, we do it all week. It's all just week. a mainly matter of by appointment, or we have open times, opening times. So awesome. They do it. Check they, out the calendar. They do it by appointment, so we'll give you all that contact attack information. I'm gonna kick it over to Peter. He can tell you a little bit what he offers out here. Peter, go ahead. All right. Well, uh, again, welcome to Peters and Vineyards. Uh, this is a small estate winery here in uh, East Contra Costa. Um, family owned and operated. Uh, I got all my kids involved, uh, so we're all do it together. Uh, started this a couple of years ago. We do a number of different things. We don't do the usual calves, Malone, and so on. We try to do different things. We do Spanish and Portuguese grapes. Um, we do port wines. We do wines with those. Uh, just a variety of things. We have music, uh, Friday nights. All right, so here we're in the barrel room. Um, you know, we got our, the, like the usual, like every winery, we got some uh, barrels. We got products here like Bombordo. It's a 2016, it's a port wine. As I said, we have Portuguese and Spanish grapes. I make traditional Portuguese ports. So if anybody ever had like a Taylor Flatgate, uh, I have that too. And that's the Bombordo. We got uh, here on tanks um, uh, our 2018 vintages. Uh, they will be in here initially. Then they're going to go on barrel. It's a kind of a my process of, of, of building the wines right. Uh, we are a sustainable vineyard and winery completely organic in the fields um, and in the winery we don't use additives we try to let it do the as natural as we can as possible uh, we use very low sulfites sulfites are overused and do not need that keep stuff clean and uh, you can get away with uh, a much nicer winemaking process um, all in all smooth wines 100 percent sorted um, just uh, as i say no headaches no uh, heartburn <laughs> so. All right, Peter, when did you start this business? So uh, we bought the property in 11. Uh, we got it planted in 12 and 13 uh, with Spanish and Portuguese grapes, different varietals that so I can use make some unique wines. Uh, in 15, we got bonded as a winery. Uh, you know, and then it takes a little time to make some wine. So by 17, early 17, we started actually shipping and uh, we were open for tastings so, and selling wine. And you sell them by the bottle, of course. You can come here, bottle. you can sample it, you can buy yourself a bottle. I tell you, I'm not much of a wine drinker. My wife is a big wine drinker, and, and wine always has a bit of an aftertaste to me. But I don't know if it's the grapes you use, or you said it's Portuguese. Well, there's different ways of doing it, right? And, and yours was amazing. Thank I, you so much. I mean, I, I enjoyed it. I, I am not a wine drinker. I usually refer to like ports and stuff like that. I like uh -huh. the sweeter stuff. Yeah. Most of the other things I, I don't like, but I tell you, I was impressed. I thought they were all great. It all comes down to the process. 90% um, of all wines nowadays are all totally machine harvested. There's a lot of junk that goes in that winemaking process. The way I do it, I gotta live off quality. 
we hand pick, we hand sort, it is 100% grapes that go into my barrel. What that means is all the top harsh tannins are gone. You don't have the burn, the cringe, all yes. that stuff is gone. Yes. You have a smooth, round wine. What I then do is I do a combination of several different oaks to build the complexity, to build the nose, to really end up with a product that's complete. Uh, and again, no additives and very low sulfide use. So clean. how long does it take to make a wine from like a, 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 when you pick the grapes, how long does that process take? It, you know, every grape is a little bit different. It also depends a little bit on what kind of product you want to make and what, what, what you want to achieve. In, a, in average, you always say, uh, let's say two years for a good red wine. Okay. Uh, that's when just getting get to the point where it peaks. Of course, it will get better if you age for another couple of years. But, you know, it's always a balance. Some wines, you know, you can do a little earlier because, again, um, it depends. Some might not be the big, robust wines. It might be a little more delicate wine that you want to do, and therefore, uh, it might be a different aging process. So hopefully. every every year, depending on how the harvest looks, is what you determine what you do with those you have That's another variable. The, each year will also tell you, different you know, where, how this is going to go out, work awesome. out, right? So uh, there is nothing, uh, it's nothing set in stone. Um, you know, it, it, even though I'm an electronic engineer and, and as background and I believe in, you know, the science of things, winemaking isn't just science. It really is. You've got to understand the science, but it has, there's some art to it. And there's really every winemaker's, you know, palate and the ideas and the process. So there's a lot of personal things going into it. Awesome. And we're also family friendly. Is that correct? Very friendly. Family friendly. I've got five kids of my own. Myself, so, uh, so you can bring fam- kids. You got bring things kids, to do outside. You know, we're, you gotta, we're friendly. To, we're friendly with dogs. We're generally friendly. I guess what I said. They show. They show. <laughs> you have a hot dog stand out there. Give yourself yeah. a snack. And then my friends, uh, my wife's friends, they brought their own crackers and cheese. Yeah, and you're welcome allowed. to picnic out here. Bring yeah. your picnic basket, and you're all welcome. So come out, taste some wines, bring your picnic baskets, bring some snacks, and have a great time. Peter, thank you very much. Thank it you. It was a pleasure meeting you. I really this enjoyed awesome. coming out here. Well, it was awesome. I'm glad to have you, and I uh, hope to come back. Come back. Right? Come check it out, Pe- right. Peterson Vineyards. Peter and minions. Awesome. Thank you very much, Peter. Come, come see me and uh, I'll promise you some nice wines. Awesome, awesome.